Okay, so right here we have a pretty complicated arithmetic series, and we want to find the sum of it. So, first, let's get started on what an arithmetic series is. So, these numbers are, in, of course, an arithmetic th series, which means that they are always increasing by the same amount. So, this is 5, this is 5, this increases by 5, 5, 5, all the way up to the final term, which is 34. So, you could just go right ahead and bash through this and find the answer of this sum of the arithmetic series, but there's a much smarter way to do it. We find the average of all the numbers. So, one way to find the average is by adding up all these numbers and then dividing it by the number of terms, which in this case we have seven terms, and we can find the average by doing that. But... That requires finding the sum, and that's dumb because we've already found the sum. So, a different way to do it is just taking the first term and the last term, adding them together, and then dividing it by 2. And that is actually equal to the average of the whole entire arithmetic series. So we can use this to our advantage because we know that the average times 7 is the sum of all of these. So we can just write this as... 34 plus 4 over 2, which is the average, and then times 7, because since the average is 1 seventh of the whole sum, then we just multiply by 7. So we can actually make a formula from this, and there actually is a generalized formula. So let me just write that down real quick. All right, so say we want to find the sum of this arithmetic series right here, where this is the starting and this is the ending. And we're gonna assume that the difference between each term is d. So a1, a2 minus a1 is d, a3 minus a2 is d, and so on. And we have n terms in this whole entire mix. So this is a of n. And we want to find the sum of all these terms. So we can use the same logic that we did before, that the first and the last terms, if you take their average, it's equivalent to the average of the entire arithmetic series. So we can just start by doing that. So this is the average of the entire arithmetic series, or just the average of the first and last, last, last and first term. And then, since there are n, n terms, then all I have to do is just multiply this by n. And we are done. And this is essentially going to be our formula. n times a1 plus a n all over 2. So that's a pretty nice formula. And in my next video, I'm going to talk about geometric series. And we're going to talk about finding the sum of a geometric series and eventually come up with a formula for it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And make sure to like and subscribe.